is Andy Jungles with Mox News. 80% of crimes committed on campus are theft, and 80% of those thefts can be prevented. Chief Ratchford of Campus Police says just the presence of a police officer in the food court has cut down significantly in crime at the University Center. If you compile statistics, uh, the university is basically a small city in itself. And we have around 12,000 people up here, give or take, more or less. And the percentage of criminal offenses that are reported to us or things that do occur, I would estimate probably 80% of those is theft. UTC has many different methods in place around campus to prevent crime. Through the use of surveillance cameras and officers on duty around the clock, crime is kept at bay, and when one does occur, the many cameras installed have been great tools in the investigation. Uh, we have quite an extensive video system here at the university. Uh, as far as cameras that are, that are operational here, we may have I'm saying 360 some odd cameras here at the university. I didn't know if you were even aware of that or not. That's, we have them in the residential areas, we have them in specific academic areas and uh, uh, administrative buildings. They're spread out throughout campus and there are actually, uh, there's dialogue to uh, increase the number and the areas that cameras are in use. If a student is caught stealing, not only are they brought before a student judicial board, they also face local law penalties. There are different levels of punishment according to the value of the item stolen and whether the victim of the stealing wishes to press charges. The University Judicial Affairs Office will actually determine what disciplinary measures need to be taken against someone of that nature. Now, should there be, if the person says, I want this guy to swing from the stockade. I want him to hung up by his toes. You know, yes, I do want him arrested. Yes, I do want to prosecute. Then we'll certainly make the arrest on that, even a misdemeanor offense, something along that line. But not only will they be arrested for that if the person is affiliated with the university, then he will also be dealt with from a disciplinary measure by student development also, by the Judicial Affairs Division of Student Development. Some may assume theft has increased at the University Center as the economy has taken a downturn. Crime indeed has not increased. But you can actually compare the years. And I don't think theft has uh, necessarily increased. And I think that most thefts are crimes of opportunity. If you run a business like the food court and the University Center, having a police presence and cameras is the best deterrent. If you are a student, the absolute best way to prevent theft is to not leave any possessions vulnerable. Do not leave valuables unattended and keep your doors locked. Most crimes are preventable if people take proper precautions. Hello, I'm Tanya Temple and this is Keeper or Sleeper. I'm here at the Majestic 12 in downtown Chattanooga on Broad Street. If you can't tell by my attire, I'm here to watch a particular movie. Yes, you guessed it, 007 Skyfall, starring Daniel Craig and my very favorite, Dame Judi Dench. 007 Skyfall is based on M having somebody out there who's trying to seek revenge against her. And of course, 007 has her back. This indeed is a brilliant, brilliant installment of the Bond franchise. In fact, it has brought in over $86 million, being the top amount that any Bond has ever brought in. Um, I can truly say this is a movie that everybody should go and see. Uh, it is a keeper and you'll hear how much people from the Majestic 12 enjoyed it. I'm here with some viewers of 007 Skyfall. How did you enjoy the movies ladies? I loved it. It was great. So do you think the movie is a keeper or a sleeper? A keeper. Well, who is? Oh wait, I wanted a keeper. You want a keeper? Oh, she wants a keeper. <laughs> she she really likes this movie, so a it's keeper. it's a keeper. <laughs> Definitely a keeper. I'll hold on to the corner of it. <laughs> All right, thank you, ladies. Yeah, I th yeah, I think it is a keeper. Okay, and what exactly did you like with the movie? Um, it's. It included enough action to keep you entertained, but it also had a, a really good storyline. So, what did you think of 007 Skyfall? Uh, it was a great movie. Um, a lot of action, uh, pretty women, so it was nice. 
And so would you say this movie is a keeper or a sleeper? Keeper. I'm here with a wonderful young lady who is the same age as the franchise. And let me get your name and what city you're from. Tina, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So did you enjoy um, 007 Skyfall? Yes, it was wonderful. You heard it here first at the Majestic 12. 007 Skyfall is a keeper. I'm Tanya Temple and thank you for watching. Make sure they give them my all and now they know that we on. Don't ever hold your applause for me. Don't ever hold your applause for me. Perch, UTC's landing station. This is Jordan with the hot list. Uh, just got done doing the last show of the semester. Ron didn't show up. He abandoned me, so you don't see nobody on my side today. A lot of good topics. We talked about how uh, the head of the CIA cheated on his wife, had an affair with another woman. Uh, all I got to say about that is... Keep your thing in your pants. Uh, that's for you and your wife. That's that's the way it was designed. Y'all just do y'all. Don't don't step out. Uh, also, we had uh, students at Ole Miss. Um, after Obama won re-election, they decided they wanted to uh, be racist. Um, they were chanting racial slurs, talking bad about the president, uh, calling him names I cannot repeat, and. Uh, my advice to you guys is to judge a man by the content of his character, not the color of his skin. Unfortunately, we still don't do that completely in America, but hopefully that changes. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys just with these morbid topics. Uh, I also have, you know, of course, a couple of sports. Uh, the Knicks are five and zero so far, which is very surprising to me. Uh, I'm not a Knicks fan by any means. I don't like the Knicks. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, I always said he was overrated. But this year he's proving me wrong, so I doubt I keep it up though. Uh, my Lakers lost again last night. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too long on that. We're gonna move on. Uh, my Memphis Grizzlies didn't win though. I'm from Memphis, so Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, shout out to y'all. And also, uh, I want to talk about how Tim Tebow, uh, the New York Jets, apparently this reporter went around and he uh, interviewed all these New York Jets players and anonymously. They didn't even want to put their names out. Anonymously, they said that Tim Tebow sucked. And uh, my advice to you guys is the New York Jets are 3-6 and six right now. Three wins out of nine games. You know, for people who don't understand, basic math. Three wins out of nine games. So, for you to be talking about a guy who's off the field, Tim Tebow hasn't played a lot this year. For you to be talking about your own teammate, first of all, it's just downright snakish. But... Uh, other than that, I mean, also just to down a player who's not even playing. You guys are on the field performing, or not performing, underperforming is what I should say. You guys are three and six. So why are you talking about a guy who's not even playing and you're not even performing where yourselves? So I say give Tim, Tim Tebow a chance. He got God on the side. <laughs> and I'll begin it on that note. Uh, it's been a great semester. Uh, like I said, Ron abandoned me. You know, he don't really care about the person like that. Unfortunately, so I'm by myself. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm in it the way Ron would. Go, Mox! Y'all used to that.